are sucking the update from the cloud into my phone, transposing it into Bluetooth language and dumping it into the solar controller. Nutshell is pretty high tech these days. Just got an email from Precision Sales to say, um, hello Magnus, we have some exciting news for you today. Your order has just shipped from Precision Sales and is on its way to you. And then I'll have, I'll have a look at the FedEx tracking number here and they're due in five days. So we'll be up in Townsville then. Um, we've had them sent to Townsville. We're on our way up there. We're gonna haul out in Townsville and do the bottom. Um, and put the new sails on and uh, the furler and all sorts of bits and pieces. So, pretty excited. The new sails are on their way. See ya. So you're in the after cabin? Yeah. Just um, taking out the old solar regulators and putting in new solar regulators. Because I like to run one regulator per panel. That way if one panel is shielded, you still get full um, signal from full volts from the other panel. When you've got um, two or three panels with a charge controller on each panel onto the battery, sometimes because one charge, one solar controller's slightly higher voltage, the other solar controller will shut down. So you're actually defeating having the two solar um, regulators. So if you understand all that. So I've gone for these um, Victron Energy ones, which as you can see the blue light flashing there. Can you put the light on so I can see? There we go. Uh, the blue light flashes. They have Bluetooth, they all talk to each other and they talk to your blower, your phone. So um, they will tell each other that, hey, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and they'll balance the whole stuff out and work it all out together. So this is the best solution for um, multiple panels with multiple regulators with one battery bank. So that's what I'm doing today, it's today's job, and then I'm putting in our big inverter. So we'll have, um, finally have 240 volts on board, AC. Yeah, that should take up most of the morning. Cheers. Would you like to uh, explain So this is on? the old um, power inverter. It's a 1,500 watt pure sine wave we bought in Panama when we first got the boat. Um, and this is the new one, which is a 3000 watt, um, 3000 watt, 240 volt inverter, but it's an inverter charger. So when you're plugged into shore power, um, shore power, like in a marina, which is pretty rare for us, it will also charge your batteries. So that's the old, out with the old, in with the new. I just put the solar controller app on my phone so now, here we are anchored out in the ocean, and I've hooked the Bluetooth from this up to that, and it says that the solar controller needed an update from of software, firmware. So it's now sucking the update from the cloud into my phone, transposing it into Bluetooth language, and dumping it into the solar controller. Nutshell is pretty high tech these days. There we go. Firmware updated to version 2.25. And now it's doing all its thing. The circle wheel going around. You've all seen them. Here we go. Press on that. It's connecting. Fetching data. Uh, and now it's doing something else. Anyway, it's doing stuff, which is good. Come back into it. Yeah, that's how the inverter's in. That's like, weighs 40 kilos. Anyway, it's in. So let's just get that wired, put in an RCD, run up through to the board, all good. What's that bit? It's an RCD. Residual current device. It just switches, drops the power out if there's a problem. Let's say it's the easiest way of saying it. Is 
have much left to do apart from the wiring now. Uh, no. Nah. Okay, put the kettle on. We're heading to Cape Upstart, which is about 30 odd nautical miles. So it's going to be a whole day of sailing. The weather forecast, wind forecast is 25 to 30 knots. So we've got the, um, what have we got up? The, the, mizzen, the mizzen and, and the headsail. And the headsail, and that's it. Not in a hurry. Uh, we're doing all right. There's some pretty big waves out there. <laughs> and it's a wee bit rolly. But it's a beautiful day, so uh, pretty happy. It's pretty shallow, it's only 5.7 meters. Wind at the moment is 22, and I don't think that one there works. No, direction's not working. Speed does, but not direction. Yeah. But as you can see, it's quite rolly. Waves are getting bigger and bigger. Is that waves or swell? But uh, that's big waves. Big waves. Look at the size of them. Yeah, about over a metre. Yeah. Look at Bob Peanut. Gonna go surfing. I've got her on a short leash. Yeah. Coming up past. Yeah. Now at Cape Upstart, we had a about a 36 mile sail today. We had up to 40 knots. It was pretty wild and woolly, but a very pleasant sail. And we are now here, and we're going to go and check out the beach. Oh, it looks gorgeous, babe. The wind has dropped a bit now. Oh, sorry. Wendy's just baked. Wendy's just baked a beautiful cake while we were having some nipples. So as I said, it looks beautiful. About to go for a spin to the beach. Go for a walk.
can't get access to these buildings by road. You have to come in by sea. And they all originated as beach shacks. But I think they've uh, developed a bit since then, because there's now power supply to them. They don't yeah. really look like shacks, do they? No, they're houses. They're very fancy. Very nice. upstart and we are heading up I'm going to say up because I get very confused with east west north and all that where we are and we're going to go to Cape Bowling green. so that's our Cape bowling, bowling green. green oh that's our destination for today you know what's called Cape Bowling Green I can't imagine because it's so like flat that's what Captain Cook named it ah oh, nice so that's about a 36 37 mile trek Apparently we have about 10 knots of breeze. In yeah, it might take a while. It might be an overnighter, who knows. Bowling Green. It was a pretty icky, horrible anchorage. Angus was up most of the night. Peanut was uh, flying around nutshell and smacking into nutshell. So we're glad to be out of there. We had winds of 30 knots, 30, 40 knots yesterday. So we're heading over to Magnetic Island, which is about an 11 mile um, trip, sail. We're motor sailing at the moment. And we're gonna head around the other side to a place called Horseshoe Bay protected anchorage and hopefully we'll be able to get away from some of this wind and enjoy a few days on the island, exploring the island. It's um, a tourist destination so it's going to be quite busy we imagine and they've got a market on Sunday which uh, we're going to have a look at and we'll show you around. Yeah.
Well, we've made it to Magnetic Island, um, just off the city of Townsville in North Queensland. And I found a new beer that I haven't tried before. It's called the Bolter. It's an XPA. I'm not sure what the X stands for, but the rest would stand for pale ale, I expect. Um, it's pale ale colour. Slight bit of head, bubbles, and good temperature. You know, when you try a new beer, and just as you bring it up to drink it, you smell it first, and, and that sends off a whole like cacophony of thoughts, memories, and just stuff all sudden happens. Even that microsecond between smelling and drinking and tasting, you've thought for like, it feels like it's a bit like when you, you know you have a car accident, and during the accident, it seems to take half an hour because you notice everything. It's like time between sniffing the beer and tasting the beer. I just thought of when we were in Costa Rica at the what's it called when the brewery. Oh, it was such a good brewery. Anyway, we're at this brewery in Costa Rica. And we hadn't found a good beer for a long, long time. All of a sudden... Angry Goat. Angry Goat. And we sat down and we had real beer again. It's real beer. That is not bad. It's awesome, man. I mean, it's, I think it's a production beer. I haven't looked it up, but... When do you love it? Because it's a Citra. Um, it's got the citra hops in there, cascade hops, it's a proper pale ale, um, and it's not freezing cold. Here's to make Nick Island, I think we'll hang around a bit. Cheers. Did you get your score? Um, I'm going to be harsh, as I always am. It's going to get a nine. Cheers. That's good. That's so good. What do you reckon? Um, Have you tried it? No, I haven't tried it yet. Oh, it smells like my kind of beer. It does, doesn't it? Look at the view out here. That's, Sorry. That's, that's delicious. That is good, isn't it? Yeah. I'd say eight on my citrus scale, so um, yeah, really good. I think I said nine because I, it's been so long since I've had a really mm. good beer. And this is where we are, guys. Nani's <laughs> <laughs> out there somewhere. It's hard to see. But anyway. Pretty happy. Point to the left one, and I point to the right one. <laughs> Thank you.